Allow me to introduce you to my all-time favourite piece of recovery kit. This is called the Humble Snatch Strap. It's like a giant nylon rubber band. Being so commonly used, and let's face it, we're towing some pretty heavy vehicles and camper trailers out of some pretty hairy situations. It can become an extremely dangerous bit of kit if it's used the wrong way. First of all, a few no-nos. Never ever attach a snatch strap to a tow ball of a four-wheel drive. If that tow ball shears off, it could become a lethal projectile. So only attach your snatch strap to rated recovery points. And if you do need to use a shackle, make sure you use a rated bow shackle. Certainly not those D shackles that you can pick up at your local hardware store. They're simply not strong enough. And again, when they break, they become like a bullet and they can go straight through the back window of a four-wheel drive and knock someone off in the back of the head. Another thing that some people tend to do with snatch straps is they figure, well, it's a rubber band, I'm going to drive like a bat out of hell to get the absolute most out of the strap. But it's simply not required. And in fact, when you do drive really fast, it puts a massive amount of pressure, shock load, on those recovery points and also the strap itself. So the chances of your strap breaking or your recovery point breaking are really increased. So we need to drive out nice and slowly. Now when you're dragging out your strap, you don't want any kinks in it. You need a nice straight line because that's when it will work at its most efficient. Now, this is called a cable dampener. We put this smack in the middle of our snatch strap and what that does is that if anything does give way in that recovery process, then this provides a bit of an air break. So it stops things from racing right through the air and creating all sorts of havoc if things do break. With that snatch strap, you want about two to three metres worth of slack to allow that towing vehicle to actually pull me out and gather a little bit of momentum. Again, not too much because we don't want to go too fast or too hard. The trick is with these snatch recoveries is to take it easy and then if you do need a little bit more pace, you go a little bit quicker the next time. Now, regarding these snatch straps as well, you want to use the least amount of connecting points that you possibly can. So if you've got a decent recovery point already on your four-wheel drive, or on your tow hitch, there's no need to attach anything else to it. And finally, before we actually hook up, we've got to make sure that we've got a good line of UHF CB communications between us and the tow vehicle. That way, I can actually know exactly when he's going to take off and then I can adjust my acceleration to suit because we want the vehicle that's actually bogged to assist by accelerating so that as soon as he pops me up out of that bog, I'm going to be able to drive myself the rest of the way.